Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to have a look at a problem that I think is starting to crop up with Rockwell's L81E processor. This is the newest LX80X series processor. The one I have in the test bench has a hardware failure in it. When you power it up, it comes up with major fault T01 colon C61. Non recoverable backup energy hardware failure. Save your project. So when I purchased a processor a while back from the east coast of the US, this showed up. I sent the processor back to them. They went through it and they found that it has a broken ribbon cable somewhere on the main board. Now, these things happen, not a big deal. So in the meantime, I purchased another one from Europe. Got it, and exactly the same thing happened. The same display, and that's the one I have in, in the chassis right now that we'll look at, and I've got a uh, second video with where I've changed the color so you can see the display better that I'll have at the end. So I'm wondering, and a few of it, and the two suppliers are wondering too, is this a problem that Rockwell is trying to hide? Are there others out there that are coming up with this and looking at it and saying, well, it's got to be the capacitor on the back, the energy cell? Well, if it's, and this is a 2021. Uh, date code on this one is 2021-0804. So, and I'm, I don't have the uh, other date code, but I'll have that in a few days, and I'll post it in the uh, description below. So, it gives me gives us pause to think that there's a problem out there with multiples. Uh, the ASA numbers are a long ways apart. One become begins with 011. This one become begins with 0122 so that's a fair number difference between the two why is that ribbon cable breaking and why is this failure happening in less than a year so I'm going to take and uh, reset with the camera move it over closer so you can see we'll do the boot up here or just the display and you can see what's happening so I'll be back in a minute thank you Okay, so it's really hard to see that green display. I wish they would have picked something better that you could uh, see. But, um, like I say, the second half here, I'll uh, add the other video that it's, I've changed the colors into a, kind of a black and white. So it just sits here and it goes through the hardware failure, the save project, and the address. It just keeps cycling. You can't do anything else with it. I had someone, a different uh, firm, take a look at it for me, and they were able to uh, do a factory reset on it. Take and get, they had to put a uh, COM card into their chassis to be able to download the firmware to it. Uh, the firmware is currently version 30, and I've set the address to 106 just because, but it just takes and this is not acceptable because you power it down, your your program goes away. You have to have the C, uh, SD card in there. So, is this happening to others? If it is, leave us a note in the uh, in the comments below so we can find out. And if it's happening to your processor, what's the date code on it? And if you wouldn't mind. Um, the ASA number and possibly even the serial number. Um, that way we can tell is it a certain range and you know Rockwell can be held accountable and uh, fix the problem or replace the processors. So thanks a lot. Uh, like I say this is a, maybe a long one but uh, it's better to know now than it is to have uh, these problems shut your uh, operation down. So the next little part of the video will be the black and white one, no talking, just uh, so you can see the uh, 
the uh, display properly. Thanks a lot. Hopefully we can get this figured out between us all.